And we welcome you into the Friday walkthrough along with the coach Dwight Wallace. I'm Tony Caridi. So here we go, West Virginia, Georgia Southern. As everyone knows, the biggest storyline to this game is the Georgia Southern offense. They run a spread triple option. This goes back to this guy's coaching days when they used to use a lot more option. What's the biggest key here, coach, in slowing this type of an offense down? Well, the key, I think, is practice. How do you prepare for this thing? And then the neat thing, we're playing in the first game. So if we need to steal an extra day or two or three to prepare for it, that's one thing we can do on the first game where you're not condensed uh, if you meet them second, third, fourth week. So that's the good news. The bad news, you don't have much carryover. And I think uh, I, I know Coach Holgerson this week said we can't go against the one defense because it's counterproductive. And I totally agree with that because it's a situation where linebackers, for example, are really key in the discipline and the assignments of stopping the, uh, the option. And so you do have to gear them to option responsibilities. So we've got to have someone takes the dive to one side, someone takes the quarterback, and someone takes the pitch, and you got to have three more on the other side to do the same thing. So, And with this team, they're multiple formation, motion, shifting, some of those things. It's easy to get somebody confused, and you only have to blow one assignment. So I think the key is discipline, making sure we're all taken care of. And, you know, we talk a lot about option. People run speed option. Well, speed option isn't the same. You got a guy running down the line, he's going to pitch it or keep it and that's it. When you add the dive, then you involve another defensive assignment. It forces you to simplify your defense and it forces you to get a lot of reps in practice. On the other side, let's talk West Virginia's offense. The last time we saw Skylar Howard was in the Liberty Bowl, and uh, let's face it, uh, he was geeked up, and uh, he admitted afterwards that uh, his passes weren't as accurate as a result of being too energized. How much do you think it will help him having gone through now a full spring, a full fall camp? I would think we're going to get a much more finished and refined product. I think so, too, and I think it's so key to get him off to a good start. You know, And I, I know Coach Holgerson's worried about that, too, and play selection, let's get a completion under his belt let's get him hit let's get this you know so just let's just get him going because just like we talk about the challenge of us facing the Georgia Southern offense they've got the same problem with us especially in coach Holgerson's offense where those inside receivers are matched up against defenders that aren't always uh, uh, guys that are going to defend the pass. You've got linebackers in there. You've got safeties. And so we, uh, we found out in the Orange Bowl against Clemson that those linebackers may be good at stop an option, may be good run guys, but they may not have uh, be quite as good against the pass inside. So if we can really get Skyler going and start reading that thing, picking those guys and, and really getting the, to those inside receivers and, and still using our speed with our outside receivers, think we'll be okay. Should be a lot of fun. Dana Holgerson says he just can't wait to see this team play. You've got the newness of a Javon Durant into the starting lineup. You've got Shelton Gibson, who we saw last year, but in small doses. And then, of course, Russell Shell, Wendell Smallwood, among others, should be a lot of fun. Kickoff is set for 7.30. The pregame coverage on the Mountaineer Sports Network radio side begins at 4 o'clock. Along with Coach Wallace, I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been the Friday Walkthrough.